Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I think for the very first time, I'm not really able to help somebody do something that they want to do. They want everything in white, which is actually transparent. Well, I am going to help them, but not an easy way. If we go to order and back a page, you see the, the white is transparent. And I've already filled this in to stop it from leaking. And I thought, uh, so some of the letters are going to be easy. Some of them are going to be not as easy. But you could take these and join that. He wants the area that is white to be brown. Well, the only way to do it and to do it safely would be to draw a rectangle around it in case it leaks anywhere else that I didn't see. Take the Smart Fill tool and pick a brown and fill in. Let me tell you what, let me use blue, a light blue just so you can see it working. And this would take a long time on a lot of the letters and kind of ironically, the um, there aren't too many letters that are the same that you could, um, you know, do one letter then duplicate it. Let me zoom in. Let me go ahead and get all of the colors. Some of them are really, really little, so uh, you could either delete them or um, fill them in. And so you have that. And then that could be your brown. And, and one thing you could do, and I'll try to do at the end of the video, is to make it easier to replace those colors with a brown so you could see it a little bit better. Um, you know, there's there's no other O. You know, there's two ends. Um, you know, that's, it's ironic. Well, there's two C's, two S's. So you wouldn't have to do all the letters because you could replace them. But like on this, this one looks like it's all sealed up. So we could just, you could take the Smart Fill tool. And I did not, I'm working without a net here. I need to draw a box just in case it leaks. If, if you don't draw a box and it leaks, then uh, two things that happen. It's going to take forever to, because um, uh, it's going to try to fill everything into the page. So it could, on, on an older computer, it could actually crash it because it's trying to do so much. But I'm going to do one more letter, and then we're going to show you. Because doing it in a color like this, you'll be able to see the, the change other than the brown. And we're going to, let me go and just do all this one letter. So there's no easy way. You know, I've tried everything I know, uh, back minus front, um, just a few more and then we'll, we'll go on to a um, little bit better things. Almost got it. I'm, I'm guessing they're printing this because um, this would never really come up in engraving. A few more and then we can replace them all with a brown. That's not going to really help him. It's going to save him time and make it a little bit easier to, to fill stuff in because you can fill it in like with a yellow and um, so I think we've got everything we want. Now what you could do is go to find and replace and we're going to pick this blue and we're going to go to edit, find and replace. I put step and repeat, find and replace. And we're going to go from selection and we're going to go to find all. So it found all the blues. And then we could control G to group that together. And then we could take that blue and turn it into a brown. But you're going to have to do every letter. Uh, I've tried everything I can think of to, you know, intersect and 
whatever. Now that is pretty cool if you're gonna print it. And then, then if you did see some spots you missed, you could get the Smart Fill tool, get your eyedropper and pick that brown and you could fill in the spots you did miss. And it might not be, you know, might be just as easy to use a brown uh, and not have to worry about find and replace. Um, but it is a little lesson on how stuff like that works. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.